Hey everybody, it's out of here! Back at you again, reminding you this time to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my socials. Ooh, what's going on guys? It's out of here! Back at you again, this time with the Dynasty Destroyer uh, Yankees uh, episode 2. So, <clears throat> it's been about a week or two, week and a half maybe, since I've recorded anything for this. As you see, I did not play any spring training games. Uh, but what we're going to do here is, uh, if you want a quick glance at the rules, they are in the description for this video. Uh, they can be a little convoluted. But essentially, the first episode, we traded away the majority of the stars, any prospects that were in the majors. Uh, did I set lineups for this yet? I set one lineup. Cool. But as you can see, like, we have Tim Tebow. Uh, recently retired Tim Tebow, so I'm actually even happier that I have starting <laughs> as a Yankee left fielder right now. Uh, we need to set the other, uh, other parts of the lineups too. But as you can see, we got rid of Judge, and you know, uh, really, we got rid of everybody for the most part. We uh, kept in the starting lineup right now, I believe the only people we've kept are Voight, Sanchez, and Gardner. So, I mean, there's a couple bench players that are still there, like Clint Frazier. Uh, but what we're going to do today, after I set my lineups, uh, rotation is already set too. We are going to go ahead and simulate spring training. Now, something I didn't bring up in the first episode, injuries. If we have injuries, obviously that's when we're going to be calling up the triple. Now, if someone's doing well in triple A too, we'll, we will call them, up, call them up as well. As I said, the goal is to tank uh, and not have a good year. But uh, at the same time, we don't want to screw up our farm system. But if someone gets injured, that means getting someone called up. Which means... Where is it? Three agents. We could also look over here. We could sign someone... Let's say a bullpen arm gets injured. We could sign Pat Nishak. Which I was actually thinking about doing in the first place. We can sign someone like Josh Fields with this piano. Uh, catcher gets hurt, Russell Martin. Like, see, we could still add some batteries low on my controller. Uh, so, see, we could. Ooh, I would love having uh, Steve Steeshek and Pat Nishek uh, on the squad. But, so as you can see, that's something we can do. Uh, but first things first, I'm going to cut it off here. We're going to go set the lineups off screen and when we're back we're gonna start simulating spring training alrighty and we are back lineups are set let's go ahead and see how we're gonna go to three games at a time uh, I might actually decide that I want to play a game if I do play a game uh, they don't have any games get some Mets today they don't shame shame they get they get a land in spring training but not the Mets in this time if I do wind up playing a game, it'll be uh, one of my other like second favorite teams, even though the dumpster fire right now is Pittsburgh Fire. Uh, I might play that 18th, the Pittsburgh Pirates game uh, at home. So let's go ahead, sim like three games at a time, sim through date. I, I thought I had four veiled lineups. Well, you get to see where I screwed up. Oh, tell me the rotation's set. Rotation's set. Uh, what, uh, what's the issue? Why? 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 Okay. Feeling okay? Whatever. Oh, man. That's a great sign, to be honest. So what was wrong with the lineups? Huh, it was just not showing up with the starting pitcher, okay. Ah, oh, well Tanaka still has it apparently. Uh, so, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll sim through date here. Oh my god, what happened here? This is, uh, 
Not the best of signs. Curious. Curiosity's gonna kill the cat here. Who actually did well? Who had the RBIs? Voight and Ford. Okay. And, and, oh my god, that's amazing. Two people sitting 428 so far. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's simulate three more. Aha, we only want, well, we won two out of three. Okay. Tanaka's gonna actually probably wind up having a good year for us and screw us over. Uh, but another shutout. So two of our wins were shutouts. So our pitching's still somewhat dominant. Uh, three more. Three more games. Let's go ahead. Uh, yes, I would like to stop simulating. Let's see, uh... That's actually pretty hilarious. We could uh, we could go and claim Gio Urshela back, put him back on the team. Oh man! See now I've got to look at that. Pending transactions. Oh my God, that's funny. Both Anduar and Ursh Urshela are on. Oh, they're not going to show the spring training stats. Okay. <laughs> oh. I almost want to get Andor back, <laughs> but we'll let them go. The whole the whole point, anyways, was to blow up, blow the squad up. Uh, I think up to Philly. It really doesn't matter. I just want to go three games at a time, just to see what's uh. Oh my god. Why are you doing so well? Stop it. Oh, good luck. Oh my god. Was this just the Yankee will the fight? Let's, let's see what the rotation's looking like here. So Tanaka's doing good, Smith's doing good, McHugh's doing good, Miley sucks, which he's staying in the rotation. Uh, and Kyle Gibson see these guys oh did they did they actually change this so that oh no nope, no nope. so all, all these guys just don't get there why is michael gibbons not getting reps he should be getting reps over all right uh you know what yeah well Okay, sarah, sarah. We'll, we'll have Wade Miley be a long relief. Move J.A. J. Hat back in there. Uh, Dev... Devi? Devi Garcia? I know. I'm not a Yankee fan. I know it's a hot prospect, though. Um... Has Paul Fry actually pitched anything? No. Cool. Perfect. Um... You know what? Right now, let's start making some cuts here. I mean, obviously, these guys are going to be seen. Okay, I just literally said to put Michael in this. Okay. Go ahead and send down, uh... Debbie to triple up. I can do it right from here, can I? Uh, player card... Go to roster. Let's start doing some uh, some send downs. Garcia gonna have some go to play. Mm, Taylor Hearn still has a shot to make it as long reliever. Albreu can just go down to play already. Michael King can go down to double A. Uh, same thing with Medina and Kill. I'll 
figure out more of more of this stuff later. Uh, but hey, we actually are clearing spots up here. Let's go ahead and look at the lineups here. See what the bench bats are doing. Who are we? Who are we gonna keep for our bench? At this point, no one. Um, Clint Frazier will be on the bench. Uh, on the bench with hopes of one of our outfielders getting hurt, so we can play starting starting job. Uh, backup catcher is obviously going to be Kyle here. Jonathan sticking around. I mean, Mike Ford, lefty bat, need that. So I mean, this actually, this right here might be our bench. And then these three will be battling it out for the final spot. Uh, I like carrying two outfielders just because really no reason. Um, but if there's someone else here, like a Ty like Tyra Wade might make a cut because he can play uh, infield and outfield. So it's nice to have a utility guy who can just pop in there every now and again. Let's check out the averages going here so far. We have Gardner, not doing so hot. Joria, not doing so hot. Marismic, not doing so hot, as I assume. Gary Sanchez, living up to last year's hype. Uh, Talkman, doing nothing. Glacius, doing nothing. Voigt, hitting 327. Todd Frazier, doing nothing. And Tim Tebow has the second highest average on the <laughs> Oh, good golly. Miss Molly. Alrighty. So it's clear as day to me that our pitching is what's going to carry us, which is fine, which means we should have a losing record uh, by the All-Star break, which means in the next episode, we will uh, jump into a game. But let's continue on with the sim here. So far, no one's hurt. That's great news. Uh, sim through this. And you know what? We're actually going to play a game here. We'll go ahead and load the game up. Uh, and I, you know what? Instead of uh, commentating over the game, I'll just show uh, show a couple highlights. All right, back with the highlights here. And as you can see, uh, we are playing the Pirates, who are five and fifteen. But this is something interesting that I wanted to record uh, to begin with here. Look at. Never mind. I forgot. We're the uh, <laughs> we're the uh, home team. But Kyle Gibson got into some trouble in the first, aka I did, and uh, got the first strike out there. And uh, as you can see here, got out of the jam. So moving on to our uh, first at bat in this franchise mode. And here's actually one I wanted to show you. Look at the stats on Talion. Our Talon. I can. Could never pronounce his name, and I'm actually a fan of his too. But Brett Gardner leading off, and it's uh, it's just something that the Yankees are completely used to in real life. And uh, as you can see here, it is a Brett Gardner leadoff home run. And uh, as Gary Cohen would say, that ball, it's out of here. If I'm going to scream it during the intro, I can't scream it during highlights. At least not for a 369-footer. But, Brett Gardner with the home run. Nice little home run trot for him. As we move on to uh, later on in the inning, we had two runners on. And we just popped one out, up and blew an opportunity. Moving on. Uh, as we show off the uh, Brett Gardner home run once again on replay. Uh, we're going to be moving on to uh, the second inning here. Todd Frazier with a hell of a hit. Opposite field, normally a pull guy. Uh, hits that one out double. Unfortunately, that's where the highlight ends. Uh, <laughs> because this Todd Frazier double... Ended the end of the inning. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Mike Kaufman leading off here in the bottom of the fourth inning. 
And, uh, yeah, this is another highlight I wanted to show just because of this. Look at that. Drive all the way to the wall. He's going to second. He's rounding second after that bad hop. And he's going to slide in safe at third. Honestly, if he had, like, 90-something speed, that might have been an inside the park home run. So, we had, uh, Talkman. As you can see, just missed going out of the park. Uh, but we go to the next batter, which is Jose Iglesias. And my, uh, trigger finger gets a little, little too happy here. Uh, but he does get the run home. 2 nothing New York. And, uh, yeah, that's where, that's where it ends. But, fifth inning, Brett Gardner leading off the inning. And he's, uh, first on the Yankees when, uh, I didn't see the stat there. But, it's a drive to left field. Could it clear the wall? It does. Uh, it's out of here. Another home run for Brett Gardner. Second home run of the day. That one barely squeaked over the wall. Uh, getting some uh, praise from a third base coach there. Uh, we're actually going to have a close-up replay here of the home run to show you just how close that was to being caught. Hit off the end of the bat, just barely out of the reach of the left fielder's glove. Moving on. As you can see here, I wanted to try out some other pitchers, so we brought brought in uh, Paul Fry, one of our one of the players that we uh, traded for. So Paul Fry versus uh, Gerard Dyson here, and Dyson smacks one over the glove. So now we've got a pretty speedy runner on first base. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut into the next batter here. At least I thought we'd put a cut in here, but apparently I am wrong. Uh, happens more than you think. But we go ahead, throw the first pitch, no movement. We didn't bother throwing over or anything. Next pitch, we decide to go quick. Gary Sanchez, while he's not hitting, at least he still has a cannon to throw him out at second. So Gerard Dyson... Thrown out at second base with with time to spare, and that wasn't even a perfect throw. But now to the leadoff, uh, the bottom of the six, we have Talkman, and it's a drive way back. It's out of here. Mike Talkman with a 380 foot, 83 foot home run. New pitcher Chris Archer just gets immediately welcomed with that bomb, that opposite field bomb. Now, something I did not mention, the wind was blow, blowing in this game uh, 10 miles an hour in. So that's why that ball kind of had that weird trajectory on it. But you do love to see it. But we're going to go ahead and go to the ninth inning here just because there wasn't too much else besides those highlights. We're going to take a look at Steve C she 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 Oh, my God, C-Shack. Uh, and as you can see, one strike out there, two strikeouts there, and a high fastball that should not have been a strikeout. Uh, but going on here, uh, let's see if he can get that perfect save. Whoopsie, hits a batter. So there ain't going to be no uh, clean inning here. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the final batter of the game. That's right. Spoiler alert. It's Jose Ozuna. Strike one. Strike two. And strike three. You're out. And the ball game is over. Yankees win 4 nothing. We go back to the schedule here. As, as you can see, Cal gets in 4-0. Uh, pretty good uh, idea getting him. But we're going to go ahead and sim out the rest of the season here now. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens.
any day now. I didn't realize I left this much time in. But while we're here, uh, remember to hit that bell and subscribe to the to the channel. Uh, follow all the socials. I know I put it at the beginning of the video. But uh, any day now, it will uh, the footage will show up. Uh, oh, here we go. Now we're simming. Okay, so let's see what happened. Uh, first, next three games, win-win loss. Final three games, WWW. Oh, boy. So, we finished off the spring training season 16-10. and 10. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. But, in the next episode, we will have the simulation to, all, to the All-Star break slash game. And, you know...